Welcome guys to the Grand Tour game. We now have a new update, a new episode to play. Actually, two episodes to play. So it's called the Colombian Special, and it's in it's in one segment, so it's episode two and three. If you haven't watched them already, highly recommend it. It's one of the best episodes I think I've seen so far on the Grand Tour. Really, really funny. I laughed out loud a fair amount of times. So let's begin. Play from the start. Recommend watching it first before you watch this, because it sort of spoils it a little bit, I guess. Um, let's begin. Let's play from the start. to what is a Grand Tour special. Yep, and it's gonna be a big one because we've had a request from Amazon. You know how if you're watching a program and you pause it, you get to see a selection of beautiful landscape photographs from all around the world? Yeah, well, we've been asked to come up with some new photographs of wild animals. Yeah, us three wildlife photographers. What could possibly go wrong <laughs> with that? It's such an obvious idea. I don't know why we never thought of it before. But anyway, we decided that obviously we'd need the right gear and the right cars, and then we should meet up with all of that in the most ecologically diverse country on Earth, Colombia. Colombia is nature's treasure chest. Its endless soaring peaks, vast forests, lazy rivers and babbling brooks are home to a greater variety of birds and animals than you'll find anywhere else on Earth. Of course, common sense dictated that to get our pictures, we should meet far from the stain of humanity. But, for some extraordinary reason, Richard Hammond decided that the start point should be in the middle of the night, close to the bustling city of Cartagena, on a tropical beach. Morning. Morning. Why did he say meet on a beach and why, actually, why did we listen to him? Where is he? Hammond! It's four o'clock for Pete's sake. Uh, is that a Fiat Panda? Fiat Panda 4x4. Four four. It's terrible. It's fantastic. No, that's fantastic. Look at that. That oh. is a sturdy car, that is. What's that? Well, that, was a, that wasn't that a distress flare? Well, a red one is a distress, isn't it? What's that? Hang on, is that... Is there a person on it? There's somebody on it. Hello? 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 It's Hammond. Is that your car? Yes, this is my car! It's his car. As the sun began to rise, we asked Hammond to come ashore so we could work out what on earth was going on. Well, where do we begin? Why is your car up there? Well, uh, because that's where the boat dropped me off. What boat? Well, I shipped it from North America. Yeah. They got to here, wrapped it in polythene, lobbed it over the side of me with it. That's how they do it. Problem we've got is, how are you going to get your car from there to here? Well, I was rather hoping that would be we'd do that. That's a no, no, if you, listen, if you listen carefully, he said how you're going to get your car from there to here. You singular. It's you, meaning you. What? No, he didn't say you us. You may just get up. 
Eventually, though, James relented and agreed to pull Hammond's car ashore. So this is going to be a very different episode. Right, go, There's not really go, a track. Go, go. There's not like a car to go around the track. It's a very different episode to play. The Fiat has to pull Hammond's car out of the ocean. Come on. Can I get a gold? Yes. Got a gold. It's got 49 horsepower. It's going to ruin it. 49 horsepower. Instead to tow it. That is presumably a pickup truck. Yes, yes you've and four-wheel drive. Yes. yes, right. Why don't you go out there, cut away the pull thing back, and drive it out using the engine? It's a good idea. Because what you don't do when you drive a car is use the engine in someone else's car. You use the one in your own car. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, it wouldn't start. Probably a bit wet. Now. So, after getting brained by the waves for a while, he waded ashore again and came up with a harebrained scheme where the Fiat would be an anchor and the Jeep a tug. Three, two, you can tell this was completely one. like, sometimes it looks set up. This uh, was not. <laughs> this goes really wrong. Oh, really wrong. Hammond, you moron! Oh, well, I couldn't do anything! I got no steering! I was well, talking! Why didn't you tell us? I was yelling on the radio! You pulled this me This family has building. loved this car since 1991, <laughs> and you turn up from bloody Wales or North America or wherever it is you've been, and you've already ruined it! Listen, it's been a bit of a cluster thing. We need to work it all out. We need communications properly organised. What is you that? Need to... That? It's my ladder. <sighs> you bought something you can't get into or out of without a ladder? It's very high up. So far, Hammond's pickup had wrecked everything on the beach and all my cameras and cost us 10 hours. So we told him to shut up again and get it working. <clears throat> and once he'd done that. Yeah! That was we a random car. To, <laughs> to buy some cameras. Right, this Jeep Wrangler hardtail cost £8,000, and absolutely everything on it works. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna drive the Jeep. Let's go. Did I help me on? I wonder if that's. I think it's gonna be ideal, though, for wildlife photography wonder. because it's four wheel drive, it's a Jeep. So I could use it to track a snow leopard. It's got a four litre straight six, so I could keep up with a diving eagle. And of course, no roof, bog down windscreen. So, a 360 degree field of fire for the camera. Bit of a spoiler here. I believe the Jeep was the first car to never break down in a special episode. I know. Crazy. The first time ever. It took a long time to happen, but it did. It was this little automobile. Very, very reliable. Ooh. Now we got a little bit. Fast bit. Come on, can we get a bit under a minute? Yes. Another gold. I want all gold, ideally. 26 scenes. What? Let me fill you in a bit on my 1998 Chevy CK Silverado. It's a full-size American pickup that's been made a bit bigger with a lift kit and modifications that I'll tell you about later. This may take me a while to do. 26 scenes. We're off. Oh, what have I done? I have four-wheel drive, high and low ratios. I'm last to split up into two I episodes. Uh, I don't know. No animal's going to stay away from my legs. Probably most wildlife photographers use things like this anyway. You don't see it, you know, on the telly with Attenborough and stuff, because, well, this is behind the scenes. This is how they get there. Is this a minute again? Yeah, a minute again. Come on! This feels a lot slower. A lot slower. I think maybe getting this under a minute is going to be difficult. Give it a go. Keep going flat. I mean, yeah, this car is a lot slower. It's a lot bigger. The wheels are massive. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be very, 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 
very tired. We did it. Yes. Another gold. Must be time for James's alone, little viewers, panda. Let me tell you a little bit about my car. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, that's just a Fiat Panda. And they're in South America. They're bound to be going over difficult terrain. Yes, yes, yes. But let me tell you this. What you need for serious off-roading is smallness and lightness. That's what I've got. This is a tiny car. It weighs 780 kilograms, a quarter of what Hammond's stupid monster truck weighs. A quarter of the weight. A quarter. So tiny. Actually done a pretty That's good job in the uh, episodes. Series one Panther. It has a four-wheel drive system made in Austria, very dependable. Slightly raised ride height, but the same engine does have inclinometers on it, so that I can see when I'm about to fall over. It all works. The lights work, the hazards work, the fan, the cooling system, all the instruments, the windows and the automatic mirrors. It's all perfect. Apart from the bit that Richard Hammond damaged. <laughs> Apart from that bit, it's fine. I should have drifted back. Just a little bit of time there. Uh... Oh, no, look through the bend. This is quite a complicated one. Ooh. Very twisty turny. Still at 27% to go. 26 scenes. That is crazy. You gonna do it? Yeah, we done it. Woo! We arrived at the really rather beautiful walled city of Cartagena. Eventually, having got our shopping done, we met up for a camera show and tell. And once again, Hammond had gone completely over the top. This is a 50mm prime, really fast, beautiful lens. Uh, then I've got another harness, so that's for the actual camera. Importantly, of course, camera body. Very good one. Well remembered. And most importantly of all, Telephoto lens. Shall I show you what I've got? Yes. I haven't bothered with any of that. I've just gone for the telephoto. Not one of yours, but that. This is all I've got. That's all you need. Well, that is literally it. Yeah. That's all you need. Well, are you going to photograph animals in this country? It's a lot of glass. Clear this away. Let me show you what I've got. Right. That is a camera. If we've been tossed with photographing somebody's 21st birthday party... Perfect. Welcome to 2018. Everything you've got in all that kit that you've just shown us is in there. Show me your zoom lens. Behold the Why, lens. Is it, a, is it a cold day? Behold the zoom. The woman in the shop said this camera takes good pictures. That's, oh. that's enough for me. <laughs> Keen to get cracking, we hit the streets and began immediately to do animal photography. James, move, you're in my sock. Oh, you are kidding me. Actually got to take a picture. What? Where's the dog? There you go. Wow. Away. No, damn it. I won't move again. Oh. Is there gold? Oh, did it. Oh, I've got a macro on. Stay. Don't scare it. Uh. Hammond's got all the gear and no idea. Another gold? Oh. That, is, that is so random. Get out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry, am I annoying Yes, you, you are. Well, yes, you can't you possibly need to be that close. Hello, horsey. Eventually, we got into the groove. Got it. Look, look at my pigeon. And after just 20 minutes, we met up to celebrate a job well done. Yeah, I've so got, like got You've got that horse one. I've got the Have pigeon got... looking gormless. I think we, haven't we pretty much done it? A number of dogs and a number of horses. Which and the spider's ho I, the spider had gone, but I've got the whole of the spider. That's habitat. You've got where the spider lived. That's habitat. Oh, hang on, sorry. That's what they want. Chaps, we have a message here from Mr. Wilman. What? what does he want? It's bad news, I'm afraid. Amazon don't just want pictures of pigeons, dogs, and flies. They want interesting stuff as well. They insist the following must be included. A condor, a spectacle bear, a jaguar, and a hippopotamus. And they must be wild. You can't just go to a zoo. 
hippopotamus. hippopotamus. You don't get those here. They didn't have them here, did they? In Africa. Well, how are we going to do that then? How the hell are we going to get a picture of a hippopotamus in South America? Well, you've got a really long lens. Well, I know, but I happen to be on a very tall <laughs> mountain to, to see Africa. Africa. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to see lumbering by here. The next day, armed with our new and more challenging instructions, we decided to make an early start. We continued onwards, acutely aware that so far, our mission was not going well. What photographs have we got between us so far? Have either of you two got anything you could put on an Amazon screensaver? I have a selfie with a donkey. Yeah, you wouldn't want to use my donkey photograph, that's for damn sure. We've got nothing between us so far at all. In a bid to pass the time, I dreamed up a simple game. Helen, why don't you pull alongside your colleague in his, uh, let's be honest, one litre Fiat Panda with your 7.4 litre monster truck? Let's see who's got the slowest car, OK? Uh, OK. Three, two, one, go. This will just prove it's not always about the power. This has 49 horsepower. Ouch. It could destroy me. <laughs> Look at those tyres. It could trample me. It should not be in the lead. Not even lifted. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> oh. How is this fear going 120 <laughs> miles an hour? Richard Trailer Trash Trump Hammond has been beaten and beaten big time, bigly. I mean, I don't want you to take this personally or anything, Hammond, but your truck must be utter garbage. Absolute garbage. You wait, this thing will come into its own soon and you'll be left gasping. I'm longing to see the environment where that comes into its own. <laughs> it's hideous. It's hideous. Typical Hammond car. Since though. the Jaguars weren't going to be in built up areas, we ploughed deep into the jungle along a dirt path that was once a railway built by the British. Ooh, we're going off road. So we're now going off road in a jeep. All right. Not feel very safe. Oh, so it's very, very bumpy. Very bumpy indeed. What's that? What's that? Clarkson, stop moaning. From a mess. to go. The shadows are really off put in there. I did not like that. I thought the whole road was covered in rocks. Oh, it's the bridge. Oh, the bridges in this episode are absolutely... No. That was weird. That sums up the game's hand a little bit. I tried to like just go straight and it was like, nah. I'm not going straight. Not a chance. It's quite hard to sort of get in the direction sometimes. Looks like it gets fixed left or right. Can't do anything about it. Hope. Try and drift a little bit. So that works. That works. No fence. No. Come on. You are kidding me. Along a dirt path that was once a railway built by the British. We're going off-road in the Jeep. This might be the hardest course so far. I guarantee it. Armed Druid Descent. I wonder how many times they test times on this course. They tested much. They were very oh. off-put in shadow. Oh man, this is bumpy. 27%, 29%. What is this? What is this? Man, that, that did not feel good. That did not feel good. I think it's the shadows. Oh, the bridges in this episode are terrifying. 
Oh, oh god. Keep going, keep going. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Don't panic. Yeah, the bridges are horrible. Like, especially in Hammond's vehicle. Oh my god. I don't know how he did it. I don't love mine being high up as long as it's safe. <laughs> as soon as it looks unstable, oh, we're going to crash. I am not a good person to be with. I was doing alright, but I've started to slow down a little bit. Drift Come on, keep going. Yes, we got gold. Oh. Well done. Right, Jaguars, they are very difficult to spot and very, very rare. You don't want to come face to face with a Jaguar, though. Because it does have very strong, bitey bits kills its prey by biting through its skull and then penetrating its brain. We drove for miles along the disused railway until eventually LGB Jeremy came to a halt. Gentlemen, I'm rather confused here. We're approaching a bridge, okay? It says no cars, no people, no motorcycles and no horses. Well, what, what's it for then? Moments later, we found out. It's all right, James, why don't you just... <laughs> he is actually going... James doesn't like heights. Oh, did you see that one just missed? Yes. What is that? Hold on. That's oh, one, careful. two. You've got... Seven or eight, maybe eight feet. But that means I'll have to drive. I can't. Well, it's got massive tyres. You'll just be running on the outer ones. Well, so I get to this bit. My car is wider than that, and that's wider than my wheel. It won't do it. Yeah. And that's high, actually. What is that? Three hundred feet? Some hundreds of feet. Yes. Oh dear. Even though Hammond isn't at all accident prone, <laughs> I went first. Seatbelt on or off? Off. Because what bloody difference will it make? Really? Oh my. Oh my, look at that. That is terrifying. That is horrific. I'm going to do this pretty this quick if I can. The it. Whoa! <laughs> I screwed up. Yeah, stuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it. Oh, come on, come on, stop here. Drive carefully. Come on. Oh, oh I oh. went so quick. Right, I've made Ooh. it, that's good. Hammond, you will shit your pants doing this. Well, that's helpful. James looks so sheepish. So sheepish. This one's a bit more like in the middle. Not looking down, not looking down. With a smaller vehicle, so. so. Very 25 slowly. seconds. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm flying. And then it was the turn. Big Oh, this is going to be stupid. Oh, nah. Not about ah. that. I would never do ah. this. The only way I can do this is by looking at the driver's side tyre and keeping it as close as I can to that edge. And hoping to God that gives me enough. Oh, Christ. I can do this. Clipping across my bridge. Oh God! Not the Billy Goat Grab game. Mm hmm. I will move my jeep out of your way. Uh, if you can answer this simple prog rock question. I don't know anything about prog rock at all. Let me off the bridge. I'm going to be sick, please. Eventually, Hammond became quite irritated, so I abandoned the game. And soon, all of us became quite irritated. James, have you broken down? 
Yes. The problem is, you have people on the extreme left, James May, people on the extreme right, Richard Hammond, and it's always the liberal, sensible people in the middle, like me, who cop for it. Eventually, having fixed the Fiat, I was back on the road again. This car is just amazing. But then... Oh, dear. I think I've just lost the exhaust pipe. This is tremendous. It's like being on a rally stage. Now time for the Fiat to go off-road. Embrace hands. It actually does make it sound better. Is uh, not what I would expect. No exhaust. It's now in the trunk. It sounds different. Better. Definitely better. So I'll get a minimum first thing. This car is so slow. So slow. So it's now officially, I guess, all these cars from this episode will now be. Um, in the game for multiplayer, you can select them, you can drive them, drive them on any uh, course in the game. Uh oh, I hate those rocks. Who puts those rocks there? Again. Uh, crashed. Wow. Right then, let's go. I don't know how that's going to affect my time. We was definitely on course to do it. Now gonna be a little bit tired. Definitely lost the time. Might be okay. Just about. Really gotta absolutely hammer this fossil. And don't let it. I might have just killed Deng I think we've done it. We did it. That Tony and Jerry Blair were, in fact, massive World Rally Championship fans. In fact, I think they took part in a couple on the quiet. They just didn't want people to know about it. They thought it would sort of damage their reputation and their standing. Unlike, say, starting a war. Further ahead, my long lens had grabbed a couple of animals. I mean, that is an extremely long lens. Just saying. Oh. Perfect. I don't believe Amazon will be rushing to have that as their screen. <laughs> you never know. You never know. But we had yet to bag a jag. However, a jag. as it's a nocturnal animal, we were hoping for more luck as darkness fell. Eventually, though, after driving deep into the jungle, we arrived at exactly the sort of spot where jaguars like to hang out. This is extraordinarily promising. I'm bored, I'm bored, and I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. I'm being eaten and I'm bored as well. I think if a Jaguar came now, I wouldn't see it. My eyes have shut down from boredom. What are we going to do? I don't know, but that is boring. No, because honestly, I mean, the truth is, People could come out here for 40 years and not see a Jaguar. Well, we could use my trap cameras. Use oh, well. trap cameras? Set it up and they're triggered by an animal and then they take a picture. Well, you've got those with you? Yeah, in bag. Well, why the hell didn't you say that when we turned up? Nobody asked. These are set off remotely? Yeah, if an animal... Well, why are we still here? That's a very good point, actually. It's better that we go away, isn't it? Let's take the Bear Grylls approach to natural history. There was a town, well, 10 kilometres away. Why don't we go into the tin, have a drink, check into a hotel. How's that sound? And then come back tomorrow and yes. check the cameras. Yes. That's how you're supposed to use them. It's in the instructions. That's what you do. You set it up. Oh, no. Try and spot the Jaguar. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Oh, I've got a silver. Move. It's, like, really reluctant. Damn it. Oh, is that gold? Oh, it is. The 
next morning, 15 goals. in a state of deep puzzlement, Hammond and I checked out the ruined trap cameras. So, let me just get this clear. The Jaguar mauled your camera? Yeah. Is that, is that really where it's bitten it? Yeah, look, bits come off it. So, we, but he's broken it. Yes, he's broken it. But did anyway. we, this is the important thing, did we get <clears throat> any pictures? All right, look. No. no. Uh, something triggered it, maybe a leaf. Ah, look, there. Where? There. That's oh, it. That's it. That's, that's it. Walking. That is a camouflage. That's his head. That's his head. That's its actual face. I mean, they're not... There. There. Yeah, but he's got a tree in front of him. Oh, yeah, but they're, 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 that's context. Oh, that's oh. habitat. <gasps> What's that? This is when it got destroyed. That's its. That's its mouth. That's whiskers. Look. That's, no. That's its. That's a jaguar biting. That is an action shot. That's probably got awards all over it. Oh, God, yeah. Eyes. Oh! <gasps> now that, now that is a great picture, and we can move on. It is. It's, we have ticked that box. That's the Ace of Spades, the Jaguar. That's Saddam Hussein. We've now got to go and get his sons. With the Jaguar in the bag, our sights were set on the next target. Another rare and reclusive creature. The spectacled bear. We now have to drive 200 miles to find the sort of terrain where we're going to be able to photograph the King of Spades, Edgar Hussein, Paddington. And eventually, we arrived in Spectacle Bear Country. Right, now, listen. Um... <laughs> what? I like your trousers. Well, no, at least he's trying. He's making an effort. And you should have gone the whole hog. Maybe some nice... Hey, we're out in the outdoors, some nice chaps. Suede, but ventilated at the back. And that shirt, you've picked up that colour. Have you been getting advice? May we turn our attention to the bears now, he's to been, Paddington? His skin's flaking. You should moisturise. No, it's... What? It's you should moisturise. Just a bit. In the well, moisturise. It's because your skin's flaking. Because you're like dry. Got... You look like something found in a pyramid. Anyway, listen, we must turn our attention. <laughs> <laughs> we must turn must... Our... Let's have a look at this sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that in the British Museum. <laughs> Rather than put up with any more of this persecution, I insisted we saddle up and set off to look for Paddington. Let's do this. Look for the bear. The precious bear. We're not going very quick, are we? Go, 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 go. One over here. I don't really know, like, the best route for this, to be honest. One over there. going quite quick, but I've only got two, so I don't quite know what the game wants from me to be honest. No, we're going quite quick. The one over here. Get it, get it, get it! Yes! Did it! Oh! Keep it diagonal, obviously, while crossing these things. Ten more left. Oh, shite! Oh, ho! Oh, ho! Look at you with the wheel in the air. Can we please try not to make this look like it's a problem? Because the ladies and gentlemen think we're hopeless. I tried to drive myself out, which went well. Speed and power. <laughs> he just dug himself a hole. So I asked Hammond for help, but predictably, his pickup truck chose that moment to go into one wheel drive. Oh. Oh dear. There was only one solution. With the rope hitched up, we were ready to go. So, I'll, I'll give you a small tug. Was that a gentle tug? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then it's down to you because I haven't got the weight to pull you, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. Time to pull out Clarkson. A little bit too much power. There we go. Just ease him out. Ease him out. Panda. Yes! Yes! Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> just pulled Freddie Mercury. 
out. It's a meeting of minds. <laughs> I'm not sure we're very good at fist oh. popping. With that calamity sorted, Hammond got four-wheel drive back, and we resumed our mission. Right. I've got a bear hug. I've got a bear hug. So they're all sort of in the middle, aren't they? Whatever there. See, if you get on the wrong terrain, you go so slow. Really just ruins you. That's one. It's sort of very, very slow right now. The one over here? Yep. Hello, Mr. Bear. When, when are we actually going to find this bear? 42 seconds. Smash it. I'm looking forward to seeing a bear. I really am. I like all bears except polar bears, which I hate. They're vicious and they eat school children. What? Joyously, we soon found another suitable spot where I discovered I had a small problem. I'm still not high enough up to see over the shrubs. Well, nothing you can do about it now. What? Shut up. Nothing you can do about yeah, it. I'm telling you, I'm just wishing I was a bit high. Look how high you are. This is... What was... What was that? That's bear noise. Shh. <laughs> I'm not bored now. That is a bear. <laughs> I mean, credit to them, they actually found the bear. Yes, like, honestly, that's, that's good face. work. Oh, yeah. I was quite surprised, to be honest. Ooh. Do I have it? Is that a gold? What a wonderful looking creature as well. Look at that. Oh. Having had a decent night's sleep, we convened to plan our next move. Morning. What's the uh, matter with your face? It's not good. No. It's like being in the singing detective. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody roof. Anyway, listen. listen. Sorry, I'm briefly mesmerised. Listen. I'm back. While you were out this morning buying new action trousers, I see, I have got a book. All of Columbia's wildlife is in this book. Yep, all of it. I've been through it. Guess what there isn't? A hippopotamus. Well, so far we've got pigeon, dog, horse. Donkey. Don't bring those up, please. Um, jaguar. 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 Bear. Bear. Yes. Condor it's is next. Condor is next. Is there a case, I think there is, for a little light car modification? I agree, there is, there is. I think I might be scaring them off a bit. I could make some changes. I'm just thinking... what I could give my car. A roof. Yeah, that's there a good idea. There is evidence to suggest in your flaking visage. Then you would look like I Michael am... Gambon in the 80s. <laughs> I am Michael you Gambon know? in the 80s. <laughs> We then went shopping in Bogota's massive auto district. 20 city blocks of nothing but shops selling car parts. OK, you have oh. to find mine. Where is it? Well, no. is the one disguised as a bush in an industrial car park. I've camouflaged it. Well, yes, you've painted it. It's got roll-down netting that goes over the windows when I'm using it as a hide, and it has an inbuilt... Well, it's got a raise on it as well, because the one problem I've had is ground clearance. What? Yes. You've spent two days laughing at Hammond and me because we've got cars that have been raised and how awful they are, and then you've done exactly the same. As an alternative expression, rather than I'm going to raise my car, why not I'm going to ruin yes. my car? What you've done is it ruined it. Well, let's see. I've done it very subtly. Well, can we move on to Hammond, who's obviously if gone you can find completely it. mad? Uh, 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 uh. I, too, have gone the camouflage route because it's green, as you can see. I've mended the half shaft up here. That's the only mechanical work I've had to do because, other than that, it's been perfect. Yes, this structure here yeah. is a hide. It's, I know it is. It's a hide on a monster truck. And you, because it's you, you put two cameras in there to film yourself. Yes, that's the most important thing. 
I love the idea that you two, this, probably there's no other word, morons, have decided that somehow you can camouflage your car so they won't be seen by aminals. I have already proved that mine can drive right up to a bear. He's interested. Speaking of yours, what have you done? Whoa, what's all that on the back? That, gentlemen, is a scissor lift. What? It's a scissor lift. Simply get in that and rise up. So that oh, I have so a... you're going to be a window cleaner? <laughs> the only thing this didn't really have was proper elevation. Now I have it. How high does it go? 38 feet. <laughs> really? Yes. It'll just fall over. Uh -huh. That's why I fitted it with outriggers. Well. They're not far enough apart or big enough. They slide. How much does it weigh, that? Well, I've added half a ton. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something else I've done. Oxygen is fitted for my engine. Why do you need oxygen? Because we're going very high. Well, 38 feet. No, 15,000 feet. More, actually, nearly 16,000 feet. Really? Why? Condors. They're in the sky. <laughs> that is So crap. I've got oxygen for the altitude, which yeah. we're going to. Yeah. That'll stop my face disintegrating. It won't. And that means I can photograph birds. It won't. <laughs> As it was another 200-mile drive to reach Condor Country, we decided to get cracking immediately. Is it going to be a race? Why, it's going to be a race, isn't it? Jeremy Clarkson. That's how it is. Look at that. What is that on the back of it? Half a ton of weight. Hello. So they've also got the variations in the game as well. That's quite cool. Car used to handle pretty well, uh, now not so much. Not so much. Uh, I'm driving so bad. Car is so tricky to handle. Come on, I can't let James May win this race. It just doesn't turn. It just doesn't want to turn anymore. Catching up, catching up, catching up. On the straights, we're doing all right. Hello. Oh, thanks, mate. Damn it. Right, we're about halfway. We've still got time. Still got time. That's more like it. I love the roof of this car. It's like pink doggies on it. I love it. Perfect roof. Could not wish for better. Looks a it's bit. Quite scary through here. Yep. Oh. Doesn't seem to be any gadgets in this race. Which I guess is probably good, really. Handles so badly. It's horrible. Dollar gold. Good. Good job. I cannot wait to see a condor because they are one of the most creations on earth. They just are magnificent. They can stay at 18,000 feet all day, maybe flap their arms once. Once. Right, gentlemen, we're passing 10,000 feet now. Uh, how's your temperature gauges? Mine's getting hot, really hot. Uh, weirdly, my car isn't overheating. But it is producing some steam because I think maybe the cap isn't perfectly sealed and the ambient pressure is going down. Yeah. Why does he say ambient pressure? Why not just pressure? Because that we continue James May does. Jeremy's journey up into the heavens. Driver, it's something like 11,500 feet. We're still climbing. Car is definitely struggling now. The engine burns a mixture of oxygen and petrol, mainly oxygen. The oxygen is going down, so you can't burn as much petrol, so the engine develops less power. We'll have to go for second. Climb, Pepe! Keep an eye on the temperature. It is working extra hard. We might just pass a critical level at which this car can't suck in enough oxygen to mix with fuel to burn. Then I'll run out of steam. The good thing is that while my colleagues were painting their cars, I was fitting mine with oxygen tanks. So when I start to really struggle, I shall simply feed 
Pure O2 to the engine and me. Oh my God. Come on. I mean, how are things in your monster truck? Not brilliant, it's gone very wheezy and it's getting very hot. We've just passed 14,000 feet now. Really running out of power. Switching to oxygen for the engine. There we are. Two clicks. Right, watch this. It's now just going to like speed up like oh. not. <laughs> I don't quite know how it works, but just because the, the, the engine has no air. Two minutes? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Because if this car does not handle very well, that is worrying. Two minutes. Two minutes. Take a little nick. Look, the back end is just so heavy. That like half a ton winch thing is just so annoying. Drift! Oh, there's too many rocks. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Not in a million years. We're almost halfway. Oh, what? Damn it! That really slowed me down. We should. According to this time, we should be okay. Keep on going. I don't, well, I don't really know why that can't be done over a crash. I would have been completely fine. This car gives me exactly zero confidence. No, I do not enjoy this car at all. No, don't fall off. Not fall off. Don't you even there. Um, I may have overreached myself a little bit. Oh, look at all the condos. I can see they're everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh. Let's face it. I've had a brilliant idea. Let's just get off this dusty bit and set our hides up there. Yes. So, we drove off the dust. Found a new, likely-looking spot. And when the clouds had lifted, we set about getting ready to do photography. The idea of the netting is it stops the shine on the windows, which is very visible to animals. Oh. There was some on this side as well. Right, so, it's ready. You're going up in it. Well, why'd you not? Well, actually, one reason. You see the maximum weight? 159 kilograms. What's the... Well, you're not going anywhere, are you? Well, the camera is quite heavy. No, oh, OK, it's the camera. Fly! <laughs> this is a lot higher than it looked in the brochure. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> That's really horrible. Keep going until the end bit drops out. <laughs> Why don't you two... Yes? ...get in your cars... Yes? OK. ..and can I just reinforce one thing? What? Silence is key. Agreed. That ridge up there looks promising. Right. Where is it? No, 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 back a bit, back. I can't go back, I'll have to go all the way round. Well, I can hear it from up here. 
Right, that one there, stop. Got it. Then it was May's turn to disturb the peace. <laughs> what is that? It's a bird call. It's a duck. Moments later, though, there was an even worse noise. Oh, God. Jesus. If only there was something tall and metal that would attract the lightning. Not wishing to be fried, Ollie quickly descended. And then we all tried to outrun the storm. Oh, that's hilarious. Which didn't work. I watched this episode and there's some proper, like, laugh out loud, laugh out loud moments. That, whatever that thing is in the back, is very distracting. Ah! So the racing back now. I'm in first place. Come on, Hammond. That platform is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I'm trying to beat this. That thing is so distracting. I can't even see the road. Oh no, this is a disaster. Okay. Trying to keep the lead. I really badly want a gold. Really badly. It's quite a long race, actually. Ugh. Yeah, that thing is so distracting. It's horrible. Having a tent on the back of your car. Stupid. Who's behind me? They're getting very, very close. So close to the rocks. I don't know who it was, I couldn't see in time. No! No, 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 no. I might have been there. Oh. 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 Though the storm passed, so we drove down the rough and icy mountain track long into the night. And the next morning, woke for a rethink in a makeshift camp on the edge of a town. Yeah, this is not pretty, by the way. Be warned. Oh, what is... Why? Is that not... That's clearly in frame. No? Really? How close do I have to get? Yeah, great. Toilet picture. Oh. Damn it. Ah, uh, why? Why? <laughs> Love it says restart race. I guess it's just oh, you do. a bit of a race, but not really. Oh, yes, I told you finally. You live down here. He's living. He was living up there and it's had engine failure and it's crashed here. Doesn't matter how it got here. Fact is, it is, and I've got the pictures of it. That means we're done. You can't put that on an Amazon screensaver. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, it's lost quite a lot of its majesty. But it's a condor, and that means we're finished. That's it, we've done. James, I've got a condor shot. Have you? Have you done it? That is the final one. It's a condor, in camera, finished, out of here. Hammond was wrong, though. We still had one more animal to find. The Hippo. one that didn't make any sense. 
the hippopotamus. Right, listen. This is obviously some kind of town. I am a journalist and a bloody good one. So why don't I pop into town and see if I can find out anything about this hippopotamus story? Having got the information, I went back to my colleagues. Any joy? More than. I have heard the most astonishing story. Apparently, there was this guy in Colombia who had a business exporting forest products all around the world, OK? Really, really successful. So successful, he bought himself some pet hippopotamuses. Who was he? Pablo, someone or other. Anyway, the police shot him. Why? I don't know. He shot him, and after he was dead, his hippopotamuses escaped. Yeah? And they've been living in the wild and breeding. So there are hippopotamuses here, and they are wild, and I know where they are, and they're only 120 kilometres away. Well, we're in. Let's do it. That Finish is, your coffees. That's that excellent. Is staggering news. What? The only thing is, for this 120 kilometres, would either of you mind if I modified my car by unmodifying it? We were now on the last 75 miles of our 1,300 mile trek through what had turned out to be one of the world's most incredible countries. If you were to combine Canada and Russia and Australia, you still wouldn't have the variety in terms of terrain and temperature and wildlife that we've seen on this absolutely epic journey. But, of course, we wouldn't have been able to see any of that without our cars. Right, this apparently is the uh, area where the businessman lived. And if you go down his escape road here... His what? Escape road. He, he, he built it in case the police came and so he could get away. Wasn't very good then, was it? No, it wasn't. Anyway, if you go down it, there's a pool where the hippos are now living. Target That's acquired. It. Let's do it. Let's do that. Hippos. So, quick dash down the escape route to the water, grab a shot of a hippo. Yes, viewers, about a kilometre to go, and I haven't been run over by a monster truck. Until. <laughs> What's this? We're both going to race each other. What? Uh, oh, I'm facing the wrong way. What the hell? It's maybe someone can do it, but for me, like my brain doesn't work that way. Like I want to work on the correct way. It's annoying. Like I have a silver, but I don't have a silver at the end, so it doesn't really matter. Have a way. 65. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn. Turn. I have a gold. Oh my god. Oh, that bit's so annoying. Oh, bloody hell. That bit is so incredibly annoying. So I would have maybe got a gold or silver there. I hate any turns. This is so stupid. Come on, I have to admit this is stupid. It's horrendous. I'm absolutely <sighs> Whatever. I'm done. <laughs> no, just looking for him. At that moment, though, we were distracted by what lay in front of us. That is a pond. That's a pond. 
Rather than wait for Jeremy, we decided to be ready in case our final target appeared. Hammond. <laughs> what an incredible creature. Look at that. Yeah, I've got a silver, lovely. <sighs> it's hard to explain how the, the camera controls work. You can't just move it. You have to like, move sort of in and out and then adjust it. Done it there. That was quick. Very quick. One more scene. Look at his big fat face. Yes. Well, that's it. That's tremendous. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Photos of a hippo. Congratulations. Well, then us. Well, I say, I say we've done it. We've done it. Where's... And I've been worrying about that. Well, if it gets here, you realise that'll be the first time any car on any of these trips has ever got to the end without a single fault. Nothing's gone wrong with it. See, that's about the only time that's ever happened. The car get to the end, no, right. it hasn't broken at all. That's a record. You don't think you fell off that little scary bridge you made? I don't know. He overcooked it because it's near the end. Oh, one final run Go. down this hill. Luckily, we now are looking the right way. So that's a plus. One minute and thirty. After this is done. We've done the episode. A little bit frustrating that that weird last scene. I don't quite understand that. I'm sure it, it can be done. I might give it another go. It might even be a glitch. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, this bit again. I love that bit. The shadows, the lighting is horrific. It's horrible. Really bad. I don't know what's going on. A very tiny what you can go through. Come on, keep going. This might be tough to get a goal, but it seems like it doesn't matter anymore. So, yeah, lovely. Cheers for that game. Doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Smooth. Smoothly does it. Fence again. Is that? It is. Oh, brief moment of elation followed by plummeting depression. <laughs> Where have you been? Welcome. I've been mending my camera. You don't need it. What? We've done it, mate. We've got shots of a hippo. It is done. We're finished. We've done it. Behold We've the hippo. It. We've got shots of a hippo just then. Came out a couple of minutes yeah. ago. So Job's that's the end. Yeah, that job is the done. End. Well, on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. We hope you enjoy looking at the photographs we've taken. They won't. Well, some of them are quite good. Well, one or two of them are good. No. Well, whatever. We'll see you very soon. Goodbye. So, guys, that is the end of episode two, episode three of season three. I'm going to try and do that, uh, that, that scene again, because that's really frustrating. That's, re that's really tricky to drive backwards. Is uh yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on it. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you next week for episode four. And bye bye.